prices. Let's get more insight on Alibaba.com's earnings from David Way. He's the company's chief executive. David Way, thanks for coming in. Let's uh, talk about well, what the key drivers are, Chinese exports and the rebounding Chinese economy overall too. Well, I think overall, as you said, China adds over 100 million internet users. And Alibaba.com, we managed to get 10 million business users over the last 12 months. Yeah, we should remind ourselves that you're a B2B site at the end yeah. of the day. E-commerce is your mainstay. So that's, we shouldn't really compare the 400 million internet users and talk about the companies using you. And how's that developing? Well, that has been over 50 million among the 400 million internet users in China, more than 10% are using us to do business. And as you say, average spending our internet time is four hours. But I can tell you, average time they spend with Alibaba.com is much, much longer than four hours. They almost work at Alibaba eight hours a day or even 12 hours a day. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, how do you know that they just don't have your site open and they just go off and do something else? If they don't want to miss an order, they'd better keep their <laughs> eyes closed to the screen. Right. Tell me how you grow the business from here. We have two drivers. One is the, the membership fee income and then the value added service. We said the first 10 years of the business meeting Alibaba is to enable buyers to meet sellers, which comes the revenue from membership fee. But now we say the next 10 years should be Work Alibaba. Work Alibaba is about different services needed. This is the value added bit that value you're talking about bidding, here. This yeah. is where you have to get more out of every customer, average revenue, if you like. The value service should be creating value for the customer first, first and then we can get some value. We create it for the small businesses and Last six months, we grow that revenue mix from mid-teens to over 20%. Okay, and it's really a domestic story, or is it now becoming more international? It's both. It's more. It's, we got over 12 million uh, users outside China, while U.S. we have more than 2 million, making U.S. the largest user base outside China. Okay, are you seeing any move in China away from being an export-driven economy more to one which is going to be driven by consumer demand in the future? I think it's getting more balanced. I don't think China will lose its uh, number one position in the world for export, definitely not. But we will see strong retail growth. We can tell from our sister company's performance, Taobao.com. We also look at our domestic wholesale uh, volume is picking up very rapidly. Okay, you've also been buying companies overseas. Let's talk exactly. about Vendio there. Now, Vendio, you completed that in July. The first week of July. Absolutely. So, you know, what does that bring to the party, if you will? We look at the value of Vendio coming from more than 80,000 online merchants. They should be the best quality. This is another e commerce site, isn't it, in effect? It's more a software SaaS enabler to enable. Uh, merchants to do business better on eBay, Amazon. Okay, so it's not about you going in competition with them. We go to help merchants on eBay and Amazon to improve their profit from sourcing better. Right, but you have no ambitions in the direction of eBay and Amazon. So far, we have no ambition to serve consumers in the U.S., but we are B2B, business-to-business. -business. So any business who need help, no matter the business is based in China or in the U.S., we're very much interested. So that's your strategies behind the scenes, if you will? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. What about elsewhere internationally? Well, there are three countries outside China, uh, very, very important to us and I think to any internet companies or even to any commerce. Uh, that will be U.S., Japan and India. And that's where your next plans are, are they? Yeah. Okay, what are you doing in India? Well, there are three ways we grow our business either build, buy, or partnering. In important countries like these three, we may do all the three. In US, we built, we built our first office uh, 11 years ago, even during our most difficult time, we never pulled out our, our presence uh, from US. And now we are buying and we are open for partnership. In Japan, we are in partnership with SoftBank and Yahoo Japan. And in India, we have partner, but also we're very open in all these three countries for all the three drivers, building, buying or partnering. Okay, when you say you're buying, you said buying in the US. We've seen what you've done with Vendio. What about, what else are you buying in the US? What sphere are you looking at? I know you're not going to tell me <laughs> who you're buying, that's for uh, sure, but um, what sort of uh, area are you looking to actually bolster your business? Regarding our investment and acquisition strategy, we have three uh, priorities. And number one priority is to buy non-overlapping users or customers. Number two is to buy a new commercial e-commerce application which we don't have. 
Number three is to buy technology, which is very important. Again, we don't have. So following these three criteria, we are looking at investment opportunities in U.S. and also in other countries. But the U.S. sitting on the top priority of our investment list. Okay. Um, your non-executive chairman and also founder of uh, Alibaba.com, Jack Ma, said that he, he just said about a few years ago that you'd be devoting 0.3% of your revenues to environmental concerns. Where are you with that? We actually announced during our AGM this year, 0.3% of the revenue will be donated for uh, social responsibility forever for this business, including the LISCO. And the key objective is to improve water and planting trees. These will be two major things we believe something we can do to help. For example, if you want to park a car in Alibaba campus in Hangzhou, you have to plant trees and put label marking how many trees you planted. Uh, I got a relatively big engine car, so I planted over 100 trees to get a parking lot. <laughs> That's quite something. Thank you very much indeed, David. David Wei, the chief executive of Alibaba.com.